That's a nice flow, right? AJ here from the digital.com with another mini class. Today we'll cover Uraken. Take stance, please. Two fists in front of the chest. You can take Shisetta if you like. It's much easier for practice. Shoulder in, so rotate your hip, shoulder forward, point with your elbow, and strike. Let's repeat this about 20 times first. Okay, itch, relax, knee, some, she, go, rook, shich, hach, kyu, ju. A good way is to make sure that you see your own fist travel across the face. So some people they do this or this or this, or they do this, but you have to do that, all right? Make sure to cross the face. So another 10, I starting left, I itch, ni, sam, shi, go, ruk, itch, hach, kyu, jip, another, itch, ni, sam, shi, go, ruk, itch, hach, kyu, jip, hai, itch, ni, am, shi, go, ruk, itch, hach, kyu, jip, itch, Ne um she go look itch hatch ke je yo hi that's about 50 now let's do it with a step hey itch ne and change left and right some she go look itch hatch ke je hey itch ne um ne Go, look, itch, hatch, here, here. All right. Okay, so next up is leg yabuzuki. Take left stance and climb. Be careful, don't pull your hip back, don't overly lean with your body. Simply think about your axis and rotate around your axis as you strike. So don't try to reach with the portion of the upper body like this. Even on micro scale, you have to reach by reaching. See, my line is still intact. Left stance. Hey, itch. Ne. Sam. She. Go. Look. Itch, hatch, kyu, jip. Now normally I favor that heel on the ground, right? For this, it's natural movement, so just let it come up naturally. That said, you know, you don't need to take that type of stance. Itch, ne, sam, she, go, look, itch, hatch, kyu, jip. Okay, now let's combine these two. Take stance. So we're gonna step in, right and left, and step back. Left, itch, and right. Step back. Itch, right, left. Itch, right, left. Itch, up. Itch, up. Itch, up. Itch, up. Eight, up, eight, up, eight, up, eight, up, eight, wrong way, eight, up, eight, up. <laughs> That's how you get a nice flow in your training. Eventually, your leg movement, you know, it shouldn't disturb you from moving ahead. I still remember. Ishikawa says he was uh, <laughs> chasing one of the students in uh, Juku with the fighting in the dojo. And uh, it was very awesome. Say his body was just a square, right? His body moved like this. Zero interruption. Meanwhile, he was throwing punches and kicks. It's still a movie in my head, it's amazing. That's what I strive to do. Let your body move and your feet Go naturally. Finalizing this training, guys. 
Take your stance. Then, step in, one, twist, two, and get back with Uraken. So, left, right, left. One more time, left, right, left. Now note, that's pretty much my fastest. But I'm not striking like that now, because I want to get in the flow. I want to make sure that my Uraken travels with a good trajectory. That I'm not overly stiff. So instead of doing that, which may look more impressive, I prefer to train this way. Obviously you have to do this as well, but if you do that it's very difficult to throw the next one. So you have to learn where this uh, sort of middle is in your training. You have to do both. For now let's work on flow. One, two, three. Here we go. Hey, one, two, three. Right hand, one, two, three. So you end with the right and start with the left. Next. 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 And now when you're getting that flow, then you can start to add a little bit more explosiveness. So by the time that you don't have to think about the format, that's when you start to add a little bit more, uh, a little bit more bite to the punch, like this. Right, enough for today's mini class, guys. Thanks again for training. I wanted to say watching, but I hope you're training along with me. That's why I'm shooting this type of videos nowadays, due to coronavirus. You know, still inside the house most of the times, so maybe working from home, and it's difficult to keep up your training. Making that commitment to do this every day for you, weekdays, um, that puts some pressure on me to keep training. I want you to find that kind of pressure too. I want you to create your pressure, right? Not letting it depend on whether you feel like it. Not letting it depend on circumstances of that very day. Like I mentioned in another video, which I gave you a couple of tips to practice at home, you have to create that circumstance. I made a deal with my wife. You know, uh, let's, let's put it this way. I have to change more diapers, all right? But that allows me to record this. She has to keep the kids uh, quiet downstairs. Create your circumstance and find your drive, all right? In the digital.com, I repeat it every time, guys. I put my whole heart in it. It's basically my life's work. Check it out, there's plenty of official courses there and also the free book of the Square Meter Methods that you can download for free right now. Click the button right there if you're watching on YouTube or the link in the description and I'll see you on the inside.